please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children in today's class we are going to talk about plants what do we see around us plants trees now what are plants we see plants trees shrubs all around us now i am asking you what are plants plants are living organisms what do they provide for us they provide food materials wood etc now have they parts yes there are many parts in a plant so we are going to see in detail we are going to talk about all about plants all right we are going to talk about plants what are plants we said they are living organisms what do we get from them we get wood we get food mainly from the plant now when you talk about a plant we normally think of a real plant all right a plant now a plant has many parts it has many parts but the part that stands over the soil this is the soil the plant the part of the plant that stays over the soil we call it shoot and this shoot this is called shoot and the shoot contain flower leaves stem all that now this part we call it the root we got the main root and we have the side root tertiary root all that so a part plant has two main parts shoot that stands above the soil root that below the soil and you have main root and small root here you have fruit you have fruit la you have leaves stem all that together we call it shoot so now what what did we say about plants what are they they living organisms and mainly we grow them for food now when we talk about the root root it's a part of the plant that develop inside goes into the soil the root goes down into the soil all right then root what does it do it absorbs water so down here there is plenty of water what do the root do the root will take in absorb water from the soil need it for the plant the root develop right into the soil and it absorbs water and minerals dissolved in the soil for the plant then what does the root do it will take to the stem into and goes up into all parts of the plant stem let's talk about this is called the stem what about the stem the stem holds the plant straight supports the plant the stem it supports the plant makes it stand straight sturdy water dissolved the water and dissolved mineral that is brought from the root to the stem it sends to other parts like the leaves branches flowers fruit etc the survival of the plant food from the leaves come down to the now 
water mineral salt from the root goes up to all parts but when we say leaf leaf is a food factory with the help of the sunlight water air it prepares food the leaves all leaves are green in color there is a green pigment there and with the help of the sunlight and water and air it prepares food so the food prepared by the leaf goes down also into the root okay water goes up food prepared by the plant goes down into the root okay leaves now what about all the leaves of the plant leaves of different plants have different shape and sizes so all plants do not have same type of leaves all plants have leaves but they are of different size and shape generally all leaves are green in color okay and then it is this part of the plant produces food with the help of the sunlight the leaves of some plants we can eat for example cabbage spinach the leaf of the banana leaf we eat the food on that as the only leaf on which we can eat our grand meal whatever you cook okay now what about the flowers the flowers they are the most beautiful part of the plant most beautiful part of the plant and it is from the flower fruit is produced now the flowers attract bees and they are the one who helps in making the fruit flowers are beautiful fragrant flowers attract not only insects but humans also we look at their color and fragrance and we like to look, take some and put it on our hair they are reproductive part of the plant which is the most beautiful part of the plant flowers it is also the reproductive part of the plant it is from the flowers that fruits are produced now we have some like rose sunflower etc they are the reproductive part of the plant now what about the fruit now we come to the fruit the flowers have become fruits fruits they come out from flowers they are some are some flowers some fruits are edible now the fruit that is made by the flower it is an edible part of the plant but not all fruits can be eaten we eat fruits like apple banana orange grapes and so on but not all fruits produced by the plants can be eaten some can be poisonous now when you talk about the fruit fruit has got seeds inside it may be one few many all right some fruits have all fruits have seeds and it's all inside the fruit but there is some fruit that have the seeds outside like the strawberry and cashew nut it is the seeds of the plant that grows into another plant every seed has a baby plant sleeping inside it and it is this baby plant that grow into a huge plant now when you talk about plant there are types of plant let's look at the types types of plants when you say types of plants we have first of all we have herbs we have herbs now what are these herbs herbs are very small plant herbs are very small they are very small plant and they have soft stem they have medicine some of them 
have medicinal value as well. Now, what are examples of herbs? Mint, tulsi, coriander, etc. Next kind we have is shrubs. What about the shrubs? The shrubs are smaller than trees. So, these are smaller plants or smaller trees. Small, they are very tiny. This is small. Shrubs are smaller than trees. They have a short term and lower height. It will be short and live for few years. Some shrubs contain flowers like sunflower, rose plant, etc. Next comes the trees. Trees. They are very big. They are very big plants. Are called very huge. Plants are called trees. They are tall and long. They have long branches. They are tall, sturdy, and they have stronger, thicker stems in comparison to the shrubs. They have strong, thick, huge very tall and in the, it is in these trees that the birds build their nest. Now examples of trees are mango tree, neem tree, coconut tree, all sorts. Now, very interesting part, bamboo is the fastest growing plant. It can grow a meter in one day. Which is the fastest growing plant? Bamboo. It's the fastest growing plant. Now, when you talk about the tree, banyan tree has a root system that's underground, but it has also roots that start from the branches. So, banyan tree has not only roots down, but also it has roots starting from the branches to make it stand strong. Red mangrove trees can survive in salt water. What kind of mangrove? Red mangrove trees can survive in salt water. Okay. So, we are talking about types of plant. Shrub, very tiny, like tulsi and mint. Shrubs, like the roses and sunflower. Trees, huge trees, mango tree, apple tree, all sorts of things. Then, fastest growing plant, bamboo. Next we have, next type is climbers. We have climbers. Herbs, small, shrubs, smaller trees, trees, huge plants. Climbers, what are these climbers? They are very weak. They are very weak plants. They are weak and they are soft. Weak plants, the stems are very soft. They need support system. They need sticks or walls or some trees to climb on. So they are called climbers. They can't be standing straight. So they are called climbers. The examples of money plant, grape wine, they need support system. Another type is creepers. Creepers. What about the creepers? They also have weak soft stems and they run along the ground. That they are called creeper. They creep on the ground. They also have weak stems and soft stems and they creep on the ground. These are climbers. They climb. All right. So, we have altogether five types of plants. Herbs that are very tiny. Shrubs are little bushes. Trees, huge trees. Then we have climbers that can't stand straight. And creepers that run on the ground. 